Ah, one of my favorite charts, which of course is the Navy SEAL workout chart. Owing to the very nature of the professional Navy SEAL's life when on duty, all off and on duty physical training workouts need to be as intense as possible. This intensity may even apply to rest days when the drill sergeant has it in his heart to give commandos under his wing time off for, let's just say, good behavior. They say that routine is good for you. Given the intensity of Navy SEAL training, you would hardly think so. In any event, the Navy SEAL workout routine chart forms a vital component of the drill sergeant's work. It goes without saying that my colleague at the Navy SEALs would be required to track the progress his select group of cadets are making. I've been asked to talk about the drawing up of a chart. But I'd also like to talk about routine. As I was saying, they say routine is good for you. I'm not a psychologist, so I won't be expounding on this in any technical sort of way. But I can pass on to you one or two anecdotal notes. For a drill sergeant, routine comes naturally to me. It is in any case a core discipline of the military. There are going to be those days where you just want to yawn, and yawn you will out of sheer fatigue, and wish you were someplace else. A lot has been said before on just how tough the Navy SEALs work environment is. The actual training routines that operatives have to step up to when not on combat duty is already a fair reflection of that intensity. But there will be those days when things appear to have come to a standstill. The Navy SEAL soldier could be commanded to stand guard for long hours until well deep into the night. Every occupation has its occupational hazards if you will. And every occupation has its quieter, even somewhat tedious moments. The Navy SEALs have such moments too. Forget about what you see in the movies, there really is nothing glamorous about being a Navy SEAL. But as it is that a job is a job, this is no ornery job or conventional trade or profession. While Navy SEAL staff members may be paid pretty well in comparison to their other military peers, they're not really doing a job as such. Like those doctors and their nursing staff without borders, the SEALs are doing vocational work. It's a calling. Remember what JFK said all those years ago? Ask not what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country. And so it goes. Such is the life of the Navy SEALs operative. Perhaps there really is nothing boring about their work. Routine is boring. No doubt about it. But you see, it's meant to be. And no matter what fitness or physical training workout is being tried out, it's actually necessary. The very nature of the exercises is all about repetitiveness. The repetitiveness is necessary to encourage the muscle and tissue growth while it is being stimulated with repeats of the same stretch, clutch or lunge action, as the case may be. My motivations for writing this article are simple. I'd like to motivate you on this idea of getting used to routine because if you have any intention of joining the army, and you can forget about the Navy SEALs for now, routine is going to be part of your life, right through to retirement age. But then again, by that time you will still be practicing routine. Old folks or senior citizens don't mind adding a little routine to their lives. Who said old folks can't have their lives spiced up a bit? Who says only youngsters will be having all the fun? Point is, no matter what age you are, routine does have that ability to instill in you a sense of security. So much for familiarity breeding contempt. As far as the Navy SEAL routine chart goes, there will, however, be deliberate diversions or disruptions. Why draw up a chart? The drill sergeant does want his troopers to get used to the idea of unexpected outcomes. He needs to test their ability to react quickly and yet, with mental restraint. The chart is necessary. It is a monitoring activity that allows you to keep track of the exercises being followed and to monitor all progress being made. The other thing is, owing to the intense nature of the Navy SEAL workout plan, numerous exercises are being included. Hardcore nature of Navy SEAL training. Unless they are awkwardly running around the parade ground with a piece of paper in their hands, it could be quite easy to forget which exercise to do next. So why as in must Navy SEAL training be so hardcore? Let's motivate. 
The statement, blood, sweat, toil and tears was made famous by perhaps the greatest warlord of the previous century, one Winston S. Churchill. He's famous for something else he said. Never, ever, ever give up. It requires grit, persistence and gut-wrenching effort. Giving up is not part of the U.S. Navy SEALs vocabulary. Let's explore these highlighted, required characteristics for a moment. It seems to respond directly to Mr. Churchill's clarion call. And perhaps too, it is apt to record another famous statesman-like statement made all those years ago. The only thing to fear is fear itself. He made that remark during his inauguration speech during what was one of the most challenging times in America's recent history. FDR made history by being the longest-serving U.S. president since that country's declaration of independence. He certainly never gave up. Not only was he a wise old man, he also happened to be suffering from polio during a time when they did not have the medicines and cures we are spoiled with today. Let me share with you then what I make of true grit, perseverance and having to make gut-wrenching efforts. True grit goes way beyond just being brave and having courage. There is a grim determination in the combatant to not only kill another human being but to want to kill him. This is a soldier who if not mortally wounded will, once shot at, will keep on coming at you. You do not want to be on the Navy SEALs list of number one enemies. Perseverance. Giving up not in Navy SEALs vocabulary. Navy SEAL knows by now that by the time one obstacle has been cleared, another one is just ahead, that is to be expected, not blindly wished away. Let's just say that there were no challenges up ahead, this is a combatant that will go still further looking for them. Ah! I wish I could have cadets like this. The moment you give them the command to jump, they are always bellowing this. Sir! Yes sir! And then they have the cheek to ask this question still. How high sir? Lovely people. Gut-wrenching work. In more ways than one, as it turns out. Bench presses, stomach crunches, sit-ups, pull-ups, fingertip and hand clapping press-ups, you name it. Glory be. And someone has to keep count. Not so easy to do alone when you're blowing the whistle on a handful of troopers. The Navy SEAL workout routine chart needs to monitor that the exercises are being done to count. You also want to monitor rates of progression. Motivating the drawing up of Navy SEAL training schedule. Once you've gone over the charts that your designated trooper has handed you, you are quickly able to root out the slackers and deal with them accordingly. But then again, if this is the Marine Navy SEAL environment, you won't find many of them on your team. Here's a sample for you all. This sample deals with prepping work before you commence your training routine. It's probably going to look a little different for a lot of people but, as always, the principles remain the same. To sample then by creating a strategized checklist that focuses on three core areas or outcomes, two of which should be familiar to you by now and I'm going to be introducing you to in just a second. Strength. A Navy SEAL workout routine chart that does not include strength training for its recruits needs to be scratched completely. Endurance. I could break down this core area into two further subsections just to emphasize its importance and for your convenience. Long distance training. This deals mostly with the running event, something to which I heavily subscribe to. Timed events, a good way to train is not actual focus too much on distance covered or actual weight lifted but to simply measure the amount of time spent going over the exercises. Pushing yourself to the limits, if you want to adopt the mindset of a Marine or Navy SEAL, this is the attitude you will be adopting. Hypertrophy. That's what it's called, chaps. Hypertrophy. It's the process of breaking down, recruiting and fatiguing your muscle fibers so that you're able to increase your cross-sectional areas of muscle growth. And so as you don't burn yourself out, this process needs to be charted. So don't you go forgetting what I just said. And that's a wrap. So be sure to like and share this video for more in the future. Be sure to head over to my website at tacticalelitefitness.com for more advice on how to build serious muscle mass with workouts and diet plans.